Hey everyone, what's up? It's Scooter here with Macintosh Tips. I am in my dorm room at Morehouse College here in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, this is the first video actually from the dorm room, so you'll be seeing more tips and things like that. So a couple weeks ago, I uploaded my uh, MacBook Pro unboxing. We went a week without videos uh, because just adjusting the college life. I have all 8 a.m. classes, and if any of you college students out there or going to be college students, you know that sucks. Now, uh, one of the cool things is that I do have a lot of free time um, because my class is in by two, and I can study from two to seven or whatever I need to. You know, get a bunch of work done during the day when most people have classes, and then I can do some videos. Uh, so it's Sunday here around 7:43, and I'm uh, just doing some videos now. And I have a cool application to show you. It's really handy. I think it's called Folder Factory. Now you might have heard of this in the App Store. Uh, it's in the App Store. I'll be sure to link it to you guys. But I want to just do a quick overview, tutorial, tip, things like that about what Folder Factory is. Now when you first get into the application, you do uh, get a little tutorial uh, here, which you guys can are more than welcome to look at. I uh, basically just going to tell you the same thing I'm going to tell you. Um, so I can show when that happens or not. Let's go ahead and close that. So obviously you're brought up to your folders, and over here in the expectors where you're going to do all your heavy editing, and then over here in the folders factory you get to see what's going on. Uh, so in the inspector you have a couple options. You have image, stamp, text, and texture. All right, so let's go one by one here just to get these out of the way. Uh, if we go over to image, now if you're Photoshop master, guru, things like that, uh, image is going to work best if you're one of those because basically you're going to take the image that you got and you gotta just drag it over and then from there you can add a border uh, you can obviously scale it just like in screen flow editing you know you can kinda rotate it however you want uh, 50 degrees it'll rotate you can scale by using the trackpad here um, but the thing is though you have this little light like border around and if you're not a Photoshop master to get all that off then you know of course you, that's not gonna look pretty ugly uh, so I'm gonna just not really go over image too much because I'm not a Photoshop master uh, but stamp is actually really cool so let's go over to stamp instead. So let's say I want to make a folder uh, for all my files at Morehouse College, all right? Um, so basically what I'm going to do, take the image, drag it into the little uh, text thing here, and it automatically takes away um, the white background and just makes it a stamp. And we have one of these already, Macintosh Tips does, uh, a while back we had a um, EB did some Photoshop work and made a folder for us and now there's an application that just makes it so much simpler. Um, so this is the folder that we have uh, for Macintosh Tips, it's like that, and this is like the same one for Morehouse College. So then I can do contrast, as you see it kind of blends in more, or it kind of stands out, uh, the insignia there. I can do a little rotation if I wanted to, if I wanted to do like 10 degrees or so, just kind of at an angle, uh, I can scale it. Cool thing down here, the colors, you can do this on each of the four aspects, whether it's text, stamp, or texture, you can do this. Um, basically, what you can do, uh, you have this little lock here, and if the lock is darkened, then that means the color of, the, of your insignia and your folder are going to be the same. But if you click it, it'll unlock and it'll be kind of just whitened up a little bit. So uh, our school colors are maroon and gray, so if I can get this kind of worked out, the custom color, I will try to make that gray. So I'll go over to the white, obviously do a little do a little color deal here. And then if I come down to the object, I can have this custom color be like a maroonish color if I can find it. Uh what do you guys think? Somewhere in here, right? Maroon. Alright, and that would be the my Morehouse College folder. That's pretty cool, right? Um, so there's the final deal, the Morehouse College folder, it's all worked out. Now if you wanted to, let's go ahead and hop over to text real quick before I show you how to actually make it a folder. Uh, if I go over to text, basically you have your text here that says hello, uh, I can have like all everything pertaining to Macintosh tips or something. So I can go over here, type in Macintosh tips. Um, the contrast, same thing, if you want it like really bold uh, down here, if you want it really at the top. Um, the fonts and things like that just brings up the natural Mac OS X uh, font window. You can set the font down so you can see all the text that you have. And then from here I can move and adjust accordingly. And I can scale again all using the trackpad as well. I can do all this. I can change up the fonts to whatever I might need, uh, whatever might look cool, you know, things like that. So boom, I can do colors, I can do special characters. Uh, and then the same thing again, I can do the different colors. All right, so just make sure the thing is checked. So the folder can be red, and this can be white. And you make sure that everything is checked 
on that. And then, bam, there you go. That's a really ugly folder, but you get the memo. Uh, make sure one thing as well, you do see here at the top where it says if you want it to uh, do a new line, you have to hit Control Enter. So if I wanted to write follow me, I would have to hit Control Enter and not just Enter. If I hit Enter, then everything highlights. If I hit Control Enter or Control Return, everything comes down. So let's go back over here to the stamp and let's say I want to make sure I want to make this a folder. It's a very seamless process, guys. First off, I just make a folder on my desktop. I can name it School or I can name it uh, Morehouse. It doesn't matter. Once I have it, basically what I can do now is just drag it on top of my image and voila, presto. Just like that, I have a Morehouse College folder uh, all created. So this is just a great way to personalize the stuff on your Mac, guys, folders, um, all that kind of jazz. And I have a bunch of apps that I looked up to do personalization and customization. So if you do like this video, please comment below and let us know um, what you like about it and tell us if you want to do more because we have more apps that we can show you. But I hope you guys enjoy Folders Factory. It's in the App Store. The link is below. And I hope you guys enjoy. Peace.